Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to be able to give you, I'm on the road, as you can see, I'm, uh, I want to give you a quick devotional um, out of Psalms uh, 1 and verse number 2. It says, and his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. I want to talk about something that's going on right now in the world. And, uh, you know, you know, Jesus talked about that, uh, uh, you know, and also uh, the apostles talked about it, how in the latter days <clears throat> there'll be a falling away. And we have so many people now that are trying to discount the word of God. Uh, that's why uh, the Bible tells us <clears throat> in uh, 1 John 4 and 1, it says, uh, uh, Beloved, uh, believe not all the spirits, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Because it says many false prophets have gone out into the world. <clears throat> We're living in a time right now where... Uh, Everybody wants to uh, think of their in their own way, in their own mind. The, the Bible tells us that the ways of man is uh, not in himself. The man don't know how to walk without guidance. And we th we thinking now that uh, there there are different <clears throat> people that will try to convince you that the Bible is man-made and man-driven is not the Bible is a love story it starts out in the appreciation for uh, that's shown by God to mankind then it shows mankind made a mistake and it shows God's rescue of mankind uh, from its mistake Jesus Christ is the answer to uh, man's uh, uh, <clears throat> the mankind sin problem and the fact that he came down and died for us and was buried and he rose on the third day to give us another opportunity uh, to, to be able to be reconnected with God shows how much God truly loves us as he said over there in John uh, 3 and 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life it says also that God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved now <clears throat> The many of the uh, intellectuals are just like uh, the same thing in the, uh, in the book of Galatians, the Galatians. The Galatians had uh, all of these different gods and intellectuals or whatever the case is. And, and just like the Greeks too, they had all these different gods and intellectuals or whatever. But uh, we know that the the heavenly divine uh, God, uh, Yahweh, uh, Jehovah, uh, Almighty God, I am the great I am. He is a spirit, as it says in John uh, 4 and 24. It says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is not a an object. He's not limited to matter physical matter he is a powerful force God is a divine uh, spirit he's a divine force he's a, he's a divine force that we can't even comprehend in our uh, feeble human uh, capacity our limit limit limited uh, space of the capacity of the wonderful brains that God have created for us. In saying that, how dare us as human beings to discount this message that survived thousands of years? How dare us in 2019, 2020, 
uh, discount this great message that save and is saving mankind. You know, in the first, in the beginning, uh, when all men turn their back on God, except for Noah and his family who followed him, God got tired of it. God destroyed the world. We better watch out. One of these old days, we all want to start thinking the Bible's, uh, you know, not God's word or God don't even exist or whatever the case is. Neither, uh, but uh, one of these old days, God's coming back. You know, Jesus is coming back and he's going to uh, rescue his, his kingdom, his saving kingdom, the church, Christians, in the great rapture. He's going to bring us all back, uh, 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 take us on back to, take us on to glory. And he's going to destroy those, as the Bible says, taking vengeance on them in 1 Thessalonians 1, uh, uh, 1, 7 through 9 uh, it says taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we need to stop uh, belittling Jesus talking about Jesus and putting him down you even have some entertain in its entertainment field that are actually portraying Jesus as gay and you have uh, 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 you have some that uh, are saying he just uh, he's just a prophet. He's just another prophet. First of all, Jesus is the divine Son of God. He is deity. It says in John one. It says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. So was he in the beginning with God. It says all things were made by him. And without him was there anything made that was made. And in him is light. And, and the light is the light of the world. The world don't even comprehend it. And in verse 14 in, in, in John 1 says, And the word became flesh and dwelled among us, and we behold him, the only begotten of the Father. We better be listening to Jesus. Jesus did a lot for us. You know, over there in Romans 5 and 8, it says, While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You know, uh, over there in... Uh, in uh, Hebrews uh, uh, 1 and 1, it says, God who at sunder time and in diverse manners in time past spake unto us by the prophets, but having these last days spoken to us by his son, by his son, who we appointed here over all things. Now, Jesus, now God had the uh, uh, prophet Isaiah prophesied that about uh you know, he said that in Isaiah 2 and 1, he says, uh, in the last days, uh, we'll be going up into the mountain of the Lord's house, the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us of his ways. We will walk in his path. Uh, says, uh, out of Zion shall go forth the word of the Lord. Shall go from Jerusalem. So we need to make sure that we recognize Jesus and what's Jesus' purpose and what the Holy Spirit is doing for us today, you know. The Holy Spirit is the divine leader. We need to recognize God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Those three as one are operating they are alive and well. And the only way that we can be saved is through his word. 
allowing the word to transform us, allowing the world to the word to uh, help us to uh, understand or uh, di be directed through this wilderness we call life. And so today, uh, hopefully, these words were encouraging to you to know that. You know, don't allow yourself <clears throat> to fall into the trap um, of discounting the word of God. God's word is going to stand. God's word was here before we were born. And the word of God is going to be here <clears throat> long after we're gone. We're amazing now. The same word that people are trying to discount exists far before they came here. So who, who is anybody living today to say uh, anything about the Word of God, especially since it's been here prior to uh, us even existing? So uh, we can follow man, live and die, and not be sure what's going on on the other side or we can follow God and know for sure that our Savior waits for us on the other side. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.